Hello, this is a Beckstein Model 5 upright piano made in 1891, 128 centimetres tall. And it's come in for restoration work. Now it has been restored, but unfortunately there's one work job which is a common problem on these Becksteins, as we've mentioned many times before, and that is the rest plank. We'll have a look at that in a second. But I just want to look at this piano, see if there's any other work that might need doing. Um, the casework is excellent. There's one chip in the key which we can certainly disguise and hopefully improve quite a lot. So that's something we will do. The rest of the case, it's been polished and beautifully polished actually. The colour of the rosewood is very similar to the polishing that we do ourselves. So looking around the whole piano, uh, you can see the grain of the rosewood. Very often they don't look anything like as nice as this before they're polished. And uh, the, this is, is repolished beautifully. Uh, so that's very encouraging. There is one... Um, small thing I noticed and that is that the top of top here is sort of lifting up to redo that would have to be redoing the whole of the top and hopefully it'll hold down and won't get any worse but that's really the only defect on the piano rosewood on these pianos is so beautiful and we love repolishing them we've done one very recently and uh, uh, they always have spectacular results now the back of the piano is um, typical in the cover here the dust cover don't really need them these days we often just leave them off because um, it's from when days before vacuum cleaners uh, the rest plant hasn't been changed you can see here there's no indication that the rest plant's been taken out a previous video i've got to showing you more clearly what the rest plant is like um, which perhaps you could try and find that if you look at rest planks on our videos you'll see see it hopefully there are some keys that have come off and we stuck back on and they're quite dull really so if it was our stock piano we definitely buff them because if they're dull they tend to attract the dirt that's been well restored apart from the rest plank problem you can see the shims being put here um, that's commonly done when rest planks are sorry when samples are restored they're shimmed it doesn't make a difference to the tone really um, and normally there's no buzzing or anything but uh, obviously it's cosmetic and sometimes the rest of the sample is bleached so that it matches the shim um, but this is uh, done in the UK I'm pretty sure about that there seems to be a bridge repair down there um, which uh, was successfully done I didn't notice any problem on the piano so that's been well done Looking at the action on the piano, that's been generally well restored too. We've changed the felts in the keys here. Um, the keys are, are not sticking at all, but they are, are actually do need lubricating quite a lot of them there. And if you can see, if I pull the key up, you can see it stays up. It should go down. It may be that it's absorbed some moisture since it was restored. I think the job was done, I'm guessing, about 15 years ago. Um, so it, it may be that some moisture has got in and therefore the keys are varied in. Some of them are slightly heavy. Looking at uh, the tapes there, so they're, they're well done, the tapes. And uh, the job's generally been well done if we look at the dampers pulling off. Uh, but we've got a problem with the rest blank and we, we'll notice that as we play down here. So this is near the break point. very out of tune around this area. It's very common around this area they go loose. Let's have a look at that one for instance. So this, this, one, this one here and you can see it's been knocked in a bit already and yes the lever won't, it, I could, it just won't hold. It's just about holding if you knock it in but it's clearly giving the client a problem. Um, one of them down here, that one there, so that's also loose and you can see that's been knocked in as well. Um, so they might be larger pins, they might be longer pins, but the rest plank itself um, seems not to survive well with central heating. Um, and that's the case with the model, old model 5s and 4s. That's the pianos made before 1902, Beckstein, before they changed the model 4 and 5 to um, 9 and 10. which don't seem to get the same problem. So it's, it's this closed rest plank, the open rest plank of the 9 and 10 is fine, um, generally speaking, although sometimes you get rest plank problems, but it never has anything like this. So that's the issue that we've got, and we've got to, got to sort that one out. So it does mean taking the whole top of the piano off, removing the rest plank, um, it's a very long job. And normally we restring, but because this has got new strings, there is the option of keeping the same strings, which are quite good really. And so don't, it's not absolutely essential. You can un unwind the strings. It, unfortunately, the job doesn't take much less time. Uh, and obviously, you're paying for new strings, so that would cost slightly more. But in fact, the job takes 
sometimes longer and you can scratch the frame too. So that's a choice that we have to really think long and hard as to whether we change them or not. Also the new, the new strings take a while to settle in, whereas these will be settled strings. It's a beautiful tone round here. There's a little bit of voicing. There's some of them a bit brighter than the rest. But generally beautiful typical model four model five Beckstein tone and it's one of the beaut most beautiful tone pianos I believe. So well worth doing. That's the one. So it's just unfortunately a few of them, but in fact they would gradually, as the rest plank dries out, you will get more of them going like that. So I'm just going to show, look at the worksheet because we inspected the whole piano and, and then have a listen to the piano general tone. Here's the worksheet and you can see the details of the piano I've mentioned already. Um, work that needs doing, re pressing rest plank, repairing the chip key and buffing the keys. Uh, the tenor springs, I, I didn't mention that, just have a quick look at that. The tenor springs, we're talking about damper springs here, uh, they're a bit on the, on the tight side um, or you could have the dampers coming off a bit later but when you press the key, as it goes, as I'm pressing the key now, I get to that point you can see the dampers lifting off and it feels an awful a lot heavier. Um, so you, perhaps you could have it coming off a bit later to make it less heavy. Obviously with the, with the, it feels much nicer with the pedal down and that it's not touching the spring at all now so it's a much nicer feel and then you've got this very heavy lift here so they should perhaps be a bit later you do want reasonably strong springs here but the overstrung piano which uh, it has shorter dampers because it's overstrung uh, doesn't dampen as well as these one of the good things about the straight strung piano is it dampens really well at the break point you hear the good damping and it won't be uh, won't be if you let the damper come off a bit a bit later they're even better and then weaken the spring a little bit i think that's probably the best thing to do because they are there's one that's very early that's too early and it feels very very heavy so that's something i think if it was our stop piano we definitely do it and recommend that the client has that done there's a general regulation job to do on the whole piano which will improve it but that's the thing which i think will improve it the most these springs are a little bit early too but these are the ones that are causing a problem the last of all the key weighting um, is a bit varied, so 54 grams down weight, 50 in the middle, that's just perfect really, and 56 here and feels even heavier with the springs problem, so that's definitely going to be a, an issue I would recommend getting done. 46 is quite light, so it's varied. I think if you lubricate the, um, the, the balance rail then that will solve most of that problem and then we could finely weight the keyboard if you want to want us to do that too um, so that, I think that's it and um, we'll just have a quick listen to the piano I forgot to mention the pedal height 7.5 is a bit on the high side though you could get some new pianos that high we usually say six is very comfortable five some Beckstein's funny enough grands are five from the floor and that, that's you can put caster cups under then if you want more legroom. Legroom at 62 is pretty good actually on this one. Uh, if, if the pedal is very high like that then you get the end, edge of the pedal worn if you look at the right hand one which is the one that's used mostly as worn. Sometimes they're very worn through on Becksteins. Could be because the pedals are a bit high that can be the case. We can sometimes lower the pedal a little bit by putting some felt um, on top of it there and we do do that so that's something I'll put on the worksheet. So that's a beautiful Beckstein Model 5, uh, one of the, the most common Becksteins really in the UK and unfortunately often suffers from this rest plank problem. It's such a beautiful sound, as well as looking very beautiful. I call it a sweet sound. And the action can perform as well as a new piano if it's well regulated. The singing area here, which is the most important, always sings beautifully. It's really unfortunate that this happens to them, but if you do uh, have the job of restringing a Beckstein like, of this age, I really recommend and I heartily recommend changing the rest plank. Um, if it gets into a very dry atmosphere at any stage, uh, you'll always get this problem. I think we've changed about 10 rest planks on, Be on, these, on these models. 
models four and five. The straight strung, which is this one, and model five, which is the overstrung. Uh, sorry, <laughs> beg your pardon. Model, f model four is the overstrung, model five is the straight strung. And then the, they changed in 1902 to models, model nine and 10. So model nine is the previous model four, model 10 is the, pre is the model five. And they don't have the same problem. I just find them so beautiful to play. The touch is a problem with the springs, especially around here, that is very heavy to play. So I definitely would do something there. With the pedal down, the touch is fine because you're pulling the dampers off. too loose and you can't put a bigger pin in it's got the biggest pin you can put in and uh, the longest one probably you can put in and, and it's just not holding so new rest rack. it it turns out beautiful it's a beautiful job actually and always will last then for another 30 40 50 years it has a delignate multi multi-layered rest plank sorry about that <laughs> i didn't realize that was one of the out of tune ones Anyway, I'm enjoying this as you can see.